Let's look at how you would use your A10 Mini Pro setup instead of your webcam in Zoom. When your meeting starts, you'll have audio and video controls in your bottom left corner. By clicking the arrow, you can choose your Blackmagic A10 Mini as the video input. Clicking the arrow next to the microphone, under select a microphone, select Blackmagic Design to use the audio from your A10. If you're the one communicating back and forth with people, you're also going to hear audio coming through this meeting. So under select a speaker, you're going to want to select how you're going to monitor and hear your audio as well. And that's it. You can control all your audio and video through your ATEM or stop your video through the Zoom interface as well. Let's look at how we use the ATEM to go live to Facebook. Open the Facebook page where you'd like to live stream. If you're ready to live stream right away, you just click go live. Underneath that, you're going to want to click use camera. And under setup here, you'll choose Blackmagic as your video input and Blackmagic as your audio. Before you go live, you may want to look at the settings to make sure stream details are the way you want them to be. The title that you put in here in the description will show up as a post. And as soon as you have that filled in, go live will highlight and you can click that to start live streaming. Now, in most cases, you'll come in and schedule your live stream event long before the day or time you want to go live. So in this case, you're going to go to the page you want to live stream from and click event. Create event. Decide if your event admission is free. Then you want to make sure you fill in all your event details. After clicking next, you select Facebook Live. And Facebook gives you a couple tips. When it's time for your event to come in and go directly to it, and also that only you who have set this up can go live. Clicking next, you'll have the option to change your event photo. There's a few more event settings for you to choose. Once you save those event settings, you can go ahead and create your event. And that's it. Your event will be posted to Facebook. Make sure you give yourself lots of time to set up before the time of your live event.